This video will show a little bit about Blackboard Ally and the alternative versions it creates for students to download of any attachment made to a Blackboard item. So, Blackboard Ally is an accessibility tool. It is built within Blackboard and it tells instructors how accessible the files they upload are. Um, teachers can take that knowledge and make their documents more accessible. But more important for students, Ally also automatically generates alternative versions of uploaded files. So if you upload something, let's say a Word document, your student would be able to download that as an accessible HTML, a digital barrel, an EPUB, an audio format. And so I'll show that off. So teachers often ask, well, what do I need to do to use Blackboard Ally? Well, as a teacher, you need to do nothing special. All you have to do is in Blackboard, is use Blackboard and create items and attach files to it. So in Blackboard, you know, you turn edit mode on, come over here to build content, and you choose an item. Which as normal, fill it out, and then you attach files to it. That's it. Once those files are attached and uploaded to Blackboard, it takes a while, like a few minutes, depending on how uh, large or complex the files are. And then Ally works in the background and automatically generates an accessibility report and these alternative formats. So you can see here I've got a sample item in Blackboard. There are three files attached to it. Ally has done its magic and so after Ally has processed these I see as the instructor a little speedometer looking thing in front of the attachment. You know, for example this file is has a good accessibility score this one is not so good and you can check on either of these and that'll pull up a report and so this accessibility score for the instructional framework doc PDF that's attached is 93. The only reason it's not higher is it contains some text with insufficient contrast. And then if you can click on the button what this means or how, how can I fix it. Whereas this other attachment, which is an article from a 2013 Washingtonian magazine um, on digital citizenship and sex trafficking in the Nor Northern Virginia area. Uh, so this is a Washingtonian article, you can see it's like a four column article, only a 5% accessibility score. This PDF is untagged. And what that means is screen readers don't have no idea what to do with that format. And so how you can create a better PDF and upload that in the future. So that's the accessibility score piece of what Ally does. Only teachers see these ratings and accessibility scores. More important for students, at the end of each file attached, it generates alternative formats. So, like I said, this Washingtonian Magazine article, it's a magazine layout. So here's a big two-page spread banner. Across four, two pages in the magazine, there's four columns. You've got drop quotes. You've got images throughout. And for a magazine, that makes sense. But for a screen reader uh, that doesn't know how, how to consume that article. So what Blackfoot Ally does, what you can do is, what a student could do, is click that A for alternative formats, and then they can download a, a file in a different format of what has been attached. So I'll run through a couple examples here. So if I did the HTML download, file downloads, and then I'm going to launch it. So it's the same article, except now instead of four columns in a magazine, it is one column top to bottom with the images popped in where appropriate. And so if I were using a screen reader, I could top to bottom, one line of text, one column of text, I, it can, I, I can use a screen reader and, and consume that. A different f alternative format, you know, EPUB, if, if I use a Kindle, I can download and then put it on my Kindle, electronic braille, audio. It actually generates an MP3 version that I could listen to. Well, now it sounds like a screen reader is reading that article. And so let me go ahead and download that and play a few moments of what that sounds like. And so you'll hear things like, this is the title, paragraph, and then it'll read the text.
Okay, all right, so you got the idea. And so that was an example of the MP3 version. And then this last one just blows me away. Translated version. This document, in the case this Washingtonian article, was written in English. I can download a version of that article that's machine translated into any of the languages here. So for an example, then we'll select Spanish. So I'm going to select Spanish, download, file is downloading, and when I open it up, I will see the the same article that has been machine translated into Spanish. Now normally it's not that fast. Um, the very first time in a course somebody clicks on one of those alternative versions, it'll take a while to process, a few a minute or so. But then from that point on, anyone else who comes in the class and downloads the same alternate version, it comes down just like you saw in the video. So I could use that, so say uh, exa for example, maybe your student's home language is something other than English. Now you can direct them to, so you can post things in Blackboard, attach two items in English, and then the parents at home where the student can come down, download in a Spanish version so they know what's going on there. Or say you, are, you teach at a, an elementary school that is an immersion school and we are doing all of our instruction in the target language. So say you're a, a French immersion school. All your instruction is in French and the documents supposed to bla post to Blackboard attached items are in French. Your English speaking parents could use this alternative formats, download translated from French, which is the source, into English, and then they could understand things that you are, those French documents you are posting. So that's a, uh, a quick example of what Blackboard Ally is, what it does, a little bit about these alternative formats available to all students. So again, just to reiterate, reiterate the only thing you need, <coughs> need to do as a teacher to take advantage of this is use Blackboard, create items, and then attach files to it. Uh, one more thing, which is why we say for Blackboard, when you're making things in Blackboard, use items, do not use files. The things you attach as files are not processed by Ally. At Blackboard Ally works on Blackboard items. So you use Blackboard, you create items, and then you attach files to those items.